Uh, here we are in, in the, the master, master control room. You see quite a lot of people working. A few of them are here. Maybe you recognize Wolfgang again. <laughs> So um, they are actually working hard that the broadcast is working from around the globe. And um, thanks, guys, for doing this. And um, these guys, they have to be awake for the next 12 hours again. And they are already um, working for 12 hours. But now we want to also uh, give you a, a unfold a secret, uh, because we are now in the studio where you actually see the plane uh, from afar. So you can see that is the actual scene and the Global Youth Day airport, uh, um, airplane. And, um, but there is someone else working for this Global Youth Day airport, uh, airplane. And this is uh, Daryl, and I can see Daryl playing with a little airplane. Yeah, or, or are actually constructing one. So um, tell us about this whole story about the airplane and Global Youth Day Air. Well, when we first started four years ago, it seemed totally natural uh, that as we were going from one location to the next to the next, that we would actually use an airplane uh, to fly from one point to the next. But I don't think uh, we were quite ready for such an endeavor. Um, and uh, a few, few months ago, um, I thought, well, what would it take to actually build something like this? Yes. So I first, uh, uh, with some of the uh, staff here at Stimmeda Hoffnung, we uh, took a piece of bread. Um, and we started carving that piece of baguette bread into what this plane looks like now. And we thought that can actually actually work. Yeah. Um, then I um, ended up finding a few uh, companies around Heathrow Airport in London that uh, retrofitted airplanes and guess what they had a lot of the older seats available. Now uh, initially I wanted to get those seats for my living room at home <laughs> um, yeah, but sure. I think uh, my wife who's watching me now um, uh, didn't really quite agree with that option. So uh, here it is. Um, all moved to Germany and uh, retrofitted and built beautifully uh, by two Stefans who work uh, here at, at Stemme. And it's an actual working um, simulation yeah. of a plane. Yeah. And Actually, it's some, people, some, some people were confusing uh, the set, setting as the, a real airplane. So you must have done a very good job then. Well, the Stefans have built it so well. Yes, yes indeed. So shall we go into the cockpit yes, and uh, take, a little, take a little tour around? Um, I hear that uh, the Côte d'Azur at this time of the day uh, or of the year in southern France has very nice weather. So let's, let's uh, take off from the Côte d'Azur. Okay, let's see. So We're going to uh, see my dials here. And uh, this is the airport in Nice. And um, so I have different views of the plane. Um, if I switch, for example, to this mode, I can actually see the full uh, plane. I can look around the plane. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and give it some throttle. So you can actually actually fly this thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now we're going to take the brake off. And you're going to see that we're moving. OK. And I just need to build up enough speed to take off from this very nice part of France. Okay, so what you are doing now, Daryl, is actually disappointing quite a lot of people because they were really thinking that Gilbert Kanji is flying this airplane. Well, he's flying the youth of our church for sure. Yes. That's something I can't do. I can fly a plane, but not the youth of our church. <laughs> so to each their own specialties. <laughs> okay, I can see. 
Okay. So if we were to change a view over here, you can see the runway behind yes, there. We are leaving and we're taking off from the Côte d'Azur. I probably should straighten that plane. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's yeah. pretty much um, the air traffic controlling system and the flight simulation okay. that we have been using. I see, and uh, I, I learned that we soon will have to leave. Also, uh, the, the plane is taking off from, from Germany, where we are, to which destination again? So the next destination that we're going to is South Africa. It's a long flight of about 13 hours, but we'll do it, we'll do it in about two and a half minutes. Okay, so um, that, that plane happens to have some uh, magical powers. Has, has a lot of speed. And, <laughs> yeah. and uh, we can get there in, uh, in a very short time, yes. indeed. So, so that's very impressive. As you can see, this airplane, um, uh, some people were really confusing this airplane as a real one and were actually questioning how, how can we afford something like that. But you can see, um, this is what good uh, screen building uh, can, can look like. I must say that there's a lot of donated time that was put into building this and building the set and building the flight uh, paths and so on. Okay. Um, so to the youth department, it really cost hardly anything to get a full um, airplane set okay. up and built. So um, then uh, I, I actually want, because the, the, the plane is soon to take off, I want to take a seat because I would like to fly to South Africa as well and meet my friends because we couldn't talk. I want to meet them uh, and I'm just taking a seat here uh, and enjoying the flight to South Africa. Let's see. Um, actually, Oh, yes, I get thirsty. Uh, hey. Oh, hi. So, um, oh, you're, you're offering, offering me something to drink? drink? Yes, yes, I would like to have an orange juice, juice by the way, uh, yes. Uh, hold on, sir. Um, I, I don't quite recognize can I, you. Can I, you please? Know, but we talked. Can we have a look at your boarding pass, please, Boarding sir? pass, please. Yes. Um, you, I just so, so, uh, spoke to the captain so, and everyone, so... He doesn't have a boarding pass. Uh, no, I don't you, have. You sure? Uh, oh, Nothing? No. I'm afraid, so this is completely unacceptable. <laughs> oh, really? I'm afraid yes. you're going to have to leave the flight. Oh, please. Okay. It, it's simply not acceptable. We cannot no. have anyone on the flight who does not have a boarding pass. Oh. Or a passport. Okay. Bad luck then, <laughs> okay. but I know that this flight <laughs> is continuing to South Africa and uh, we are really happy and, uh, that um, there are more Global Youth Day uh, broadcasts coming up, so stay uh, connected, watch what is going to happen in South Africa and we are giving the flight free so that they can take off to South, Af South Africa. Thanks for everyone uh, involved here in